So this question comes from Terrell S. And the only reason I'm answering this question is because it's actually an interesting question. Otherwise, Terrell, just use Google. <laughs> Like, seriously. Sometimes I get these questions, and literally all I do is I take the question and I type it into Google, and I go, oh, look, there's an answer. Ooh, it's, it's in place number one. Um, but anyways, um, let's see. Uh, I have a question that I need your help with. I have an analog camera that's running over coax cable. I'd like to replace it with an IP camera, but I want to use the same coax cable. How can I get this done? Please help. Use Google. So uh, whenever you're dealing with uh, any kind of cable uh, media uh, that is different from the one that you want to use, uh, basically all you need to be looking for is some kind of adapter for it, you know, right? So, uh, so if you want to turn um, uh, basically, you know, Cat5 into coax, you, you look for a Cat5 to coax adapter. I mean, that, that, that's really all there is to it. Doing a Google search in the number one space, something popped up on Amazon.com, and it's a dual cam Ethernet over coax adapter, twin pack. So you need one of these on either side. Passive adapter for Ethernet connections over coaxial cable. Transit mission distance of um, uh, of more than 240 meters. Great for upgrading uh, analog video surveillance systems to IP Ethernet based digital surveillance systems. Great for converting an existing in-house coax cable to 100 megabit per second home network. Low cost and easy to install. Um, the only thing that I will say with this is low cost is of course eye of the beholder. Uh, these little guys cost uh, 94.95 as of right this second. So that's all you would do. So basically you would buy these adapters, you plug them onto either side, you plug your coax cable onto one side, you plug coax cable, or not coax, you, you plug your, your Cat5 cable onto one side, you plug your other Cat5 cable on the other side, you, you connect that to the coax, and away you go, wah wah, right? Um, but Google is a beautiful thing. Google is an absolutely beautiful thing. Um, I would be curious how that worked for you. Um, I've never actually run Cat5 or run TCP/IP uh, over uh, coax cable. I mean, not. Well, I guess you know if you're using cable internet, it works. I'd be curious how it works for you. But yeah, but that that would be the thing. So go to. Go, I'll put a link down below. Uh, go there, spend a hundred bucks, buy those adapters, and there you go. Now I know the next thing you got you're gonna say is, but you are. I, I don't have a hundred dollars. And then I will look you straight in the eye and say, well then you're screwed. <laughs> It costs money to do this stuff, you know what I'm saying? One way or the other, it's going to cost you some money. So, um, and, and that's that's one of the things you do have to think about in the tech world is, you know, what is a hundred bucks worth? So, if you run network cable from point A to point B, especially if it's your own time and effort, it's not much network cable. It's like, you know, five or ten dollars for the network cable. Uh, and then you actually have a real Cat5 cable that goes from point A to point B. So, is it worth what's more valuable to you, your time or your money? If your time is what's more valuable, then spend a hundred bucks, buy this, connect the adapters and away you go. Um, if your money's more valuable, then actually run network cable. Uh, and the nice thing too, is like whenever you're, whenever you're swapping out cable, one of the cool things that you can do, one of the tips of the trade, is all your holes and everything have already been drilled, right? You know, when you're running cable, the, 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 the real pain in the butt is you've got to drill all these different holes and you've got to figure out like how to fish the cable properly, right? You know, fishing cable through a building, again, it's not, not overly complicated, but you really do have to think about it. It's like, okay, you know, we're going to come into this room and we're going to cut this way and we're going to go this way and we have to pull them. Uh, so one of the things that's really nice is if you're simply swapping out one cable type for another, what you can do is you can put the box, the, uh, the, the Cat5 cable on the floor uh, from the starting point, literally tape it to the end of the coax cable that you're replacing and then you can start like essentially pulling the coax cable from one side and pull the cat5 cable with it so basically you can use that coax cable as like one stupidly long fish tape um so that is something to think about but yeah no it's google it's right there 10 base 100 base t ethernet over coax one one hundred dollars if you're willing to spend a hundred bucks